Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Akshay Rashid. I am a consultant cardiologist at Manipal Hospital, Barnier, Pune. Today we are going to discuss about the hypertension. And as we know that we get lot of information online about the hypertension and also there is a vast literature which is present. So we are going to discuss about just the basics of hypertension. Now we will discuss about what is hypertension, who gets the hypertension, what are the symptoms of hypertension and what are the causes and treatment. Now, basically what is hypertension? In simple language hypertension means high blood pressure. Now there are two numbers, one is systolic blood pressure, one is diastolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure is generated when our heart, precisely the left ventricle, pumps or contracts the blood into the blood vessels for the body circulation. And the number which is generated, which is numerically higher number, is depicted in the numerator and it is called as a systolic blood pressure. Now this is the cyclical process. So after the contraction, there is a relaxation phase of the heart. So once the heart goes into the relaxation, the blood pressure which is generated is on the lower side, which is called as a diastolic blood pressure. And precisely it is the peripheral resistance, which is depicted by the peripheral arterial system. Now who gets the blood pressure? So the hypertension or the high blood pressure is very common condition. The data shows that almost 40% of adults has a high chance of getting the blood pressure issue in their some point of a life. Even the data shows that blood pressure medicines or the antihypertensive medicines is one of the commonest prescription which is given. Now there are two types of a blood pressure or the hypertension. One is the primary hypertension and one is a secondary hypertension. Now the primary hypertension, the cause is generally not known and almost 80 to 90 percent of individuals get the primary hypertension. What exactly is a primary hypertension and why we get primary hypertension? So in primary hypertension, there is a complex interaction which is going on. For example, as we know that in our families, many persons, they do get the high blood pressure issue at a pretty early age. And this is because there is a complex interaction of a inherited and environmental factors like uh, advancing age, obesity, physical inactivity, uh, alcohol abuse, smoking and high amount of salt intake which gets interacted with our uh, complex genetic constitution. Now what is secondary hypertension? In secondary hypertension the cause is definitely known. For example, over the counter, some we do take some medicines which is responsible for secondary hypertension. Uh, patients associated with chronic kidney disease or renal failure, some endocrinopathies or there is narrowing of the blood vessels to the kidney or the narrowing of the aorta or the aortic cortation which is the cause for the secondary hypertension. Now what is the symptom of hypertension? As we know that most of the times we do not get any symptom and that is the reason that a hypertension condition is never diagnosed till it becomes severe. So many a times we do go to the doctor for some other medical issues, doctor check the blood pressure and we find that there is a high blood pressure. So that what are the symptoms? Until and unless blood pressure gets very high, the condition is very tolerated and the condition is asymptomatic. But once the blood pressure becomes high, we do get many symptoms like shortness of breath, palpitations, headache, the ring of eyes, etc. The, how to diagnose the blood pressure? So blood pressure or the hypertension is diagnosed in a simplest way by just measuring the blood pressure. Nowadays we do get the electronic machines which is easiest way to measure and it gives pretty accurate reading. Now the normal blood pressure reading is a blood pressure systolic which is less than 120 millimeter of mercury and diastolic which is less than 80 millimeter of mercury. Elevated blood pressure it's something in which we do get systolic blood pressure reading of 120 to 129 and diastolic blood pressure of less than 80. Now the hypertension is defined numerically as a high systolic blood pressure more than 130 millimeter of mercury and high diastolic blood pressure more than 90 millimeter of mercury. Now what is the treatment of a hypertension? We have to have multidisciplinary approach for the treatment of a hypertension. 
it includes lifestyle modification dietary modifications and if required medicines first of all we have to treat the common conditions which is associated with a hypertension like associated cardiovascular diseases associated kidney problems like chronic kidney disease and of course diabetes mellitus dyslipidemia etc we have to modify our lifestyle like we do have we should have the physical activity weight loss then cessation of smoking and alcohol now as i know there are number of medicines which are available to control the blood pressure but and we do have the tendency that for example one family member is taking one particular medicine so i will also take the second the same medicines and control my blood pressure but this is a wrong thinking because to control the blood pressure there should be individualized approach which compiles together of a lifestyle modification dietary modification and the initiation of a blood pressure medicine at the right time and if we required we have to step up the medicine from monotherapy to dual therapy so despite of many odds one has to be very much optimistic about the target blood pressure range and its medication approach thank you